All right, this is the fly I'm going to be tying today. This is called a glitter bear. Uh, this one was uh, invented by uh, Bill Taylor, the president of ASF, back in, I believe it was probably around the late 80s, if I remember correctly. Uh, that's a pretty good looking fly. I used to tie a pile of these things for up in the Quebec and New Brunswick area. Uh, anyways, we'll get this thing going. I'm going to use a Tamco 7999 number 6 hook here. And get my thread added on. I'm using 8 dot uni thread. I'll just wind that down until it's right about to the tip of the hook or the point of the hook. I'm going to put on a flat silver uh, tinsel tag. The butt on the fly is uh, original pattern uh, called for like a fluorescent green floss. I'm just going to use my stretch nylon chartreuse, which I use a lot on the butts. A lot of the flies I tie. The tail of the fly is uh, golden pheasant crest. Tied in there. I usually will put in, uh, you know, a couple of golden pheasant crests just because if you tie in like two of them, it gives you a much nicer, uh, you know, much more brilliant looking tail. Um, I'm not so sure that the the salmon really. Uh, worry too much about that, but then again, I haven't conver had a conversation with the one to ask them. So, if any of you have that conversation and they tell you they like two instead of one, please uh, get in touch with me and let me know that. Or if they like one better, that's cool too. <laughs> Anyways, we'll get these tied in. Now the rib on this fly, I'm just going to use a, a silver oval, size small, uni tinsel. body on the fly is Peacock Curl and uh, Peacock Curl is one of those things that depending on the quality of you get you might tie in three, you might tie in four, you might tie in five. Uh, it just depends on how much fiber, you know, how bushy it is and some is just better than others when you get it. There's different things you can do with your Peacock Curl too. Uh, you can uh, to make it stronger, you can uh, mix your thread, you know, twist your thread up into it if you want. Um, you can uh, wind your thread back down through it if you want to make it stronger. I don't, I'm not overly concerned with this particular pattern because it, it has a rib coming up through, which is gonna, you know, bind that into place pretty good anyway. Now the throat on the fly. I'm just going to put a throat on. I mean, it's, I've seen this tied with uh, pulled down collars, collar hackles, and um, I'm going to be just using the throat and I'm going to be using some slopping. And I just pull my slopping up 90 degrees like that and then just give her a pull. Keeps your tips pretty nice and uh, even when you do that. And bring that into about where the butt starts, just to give me something to measure by, to proportion by. So if you're tying a lot of these, you can you know, make them look kind of somewhat consistent. The underwing, I'm going to put a little chartreuse uh, crystal flash in. I've seen it tied with pearl as well. Um, it's uh, you know entirely up to yourself what you uh, decide you want to use for that little bit of flash in there. The wing of the fly originally was bare hair. I'm going to use a black squirrel just because it's uh, something I have on hand here right now and, and uh, it, it really, uh, uh, whatever you happen to have, the bear hair is uh, certainly uh, 
nice stuff as well. You get a nice straight piece of bare to work with. Get my tips evened up there a little bit. Get a measurement here. it there. I'm going to put a few coats of cement on that and there you have yourself a glitter bear. It's uh, you know, a nice little uh, salmon fly that uh, I used to tie an awful pile of those for up in uh, Gas Bay Peninsula. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you get some tips out of that and you should have these in your box. They, they tend to work very well. Actually, it's very similar to a black bear green but just slightly different. Uh, you know, sometimes that's all it takes is something, just a little bit of change, sometimes a little bit of a change up fly too. You know, you raise it on one, you go to one that's very similar but a little bit different, and bam, you got them. Anyways, hope that was good. I hope you enjoyed that, and hope you had a good time. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.